Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, and part two of my review on Kong's Vape Village. This part will be done at Simeon Death to Ape Town and also Skull Island Brunch. I've got to say for the record, any views or opinions you hear during this review are mine and mine alone. I've not been paid to do this review. I did not pay the product. It very kindly sent to me by John and Kevin for review purposes. Also got to stay for the record, individual taste setups and of course power levels will alter what you get from a juice. I can only personally tell you what I'm getting myself. Weapon of choice today, as always, is the Geekbait Blade, and that has got the AIM-09 Evo Dripper from Asvape dual cooled to 0.26. Gonna crack straight onto this. We've done all the bottles and all the safety gibbons in part one. Let's crack on with this. I'm gonna start off with the Simeon Death to Ape Town. I do like the names of these. But I am a fan of, but anyway, I am a fan of Kong movies, especially Peter Jackson's one. I did like that. All right, here we go. I'm going to start off at 3.7, as always. And as always, I'm going to zoom straight past it. There we are. We're going to start off at 52.3 watts. No throat hit. Clouds. Flavour. I'm not sure on the flavour on this one. It's a bit weird. There's definitely ice in this. And there's definitely mango. I'm getting a little bit of throat irritation from this one. It does die off. And it's because of the other flavour. There's cucumber in this. Now I don't mind a little bit of cucumber in my in my liquids. This has got quite a bit of cucumber in it. I think this would have worked better without the ice, to be honest. It really is a very that at, well at this level anyway. Going higher up, everything else might even out a little bit, but low down, it's very cucumbery. It leaves a bit of a that, that cucumber tang in the mouth, but it overrides the other flavours. Mm. Not a fan of it there, but I will go up to four watts. Four watts, you twat. Four volts. Got up to 61 watts. The thing is, it's a good cucumber. I'm not a fan of cucumber that strong. But it does blast out the mango at that level. So let's try it here. We'll try it at 61 watts. The mango needs the power. It's quite a nice sweet mango. But then it, it descends into the cucumber, which is quite a contrast. I'm not actually getting that ice effect as much now either. I think the, now the ice has dropped down, the mango's got a chance to shine through. The mango is actually quite nice. If you're a fan of cucumber, you're going to enjoy that part as well. Me, personally, I don't. It comes in as a bit of a weird transition. Mm. I'll go up to 420. Or 67.3 watts. Still a cucumber ended. Um, I think the cucumber's too strong, personally, in this. Um, it doesn't give the other ones a fighting chance. Um, going higher up, they do combine better, and that's that's an interesting flavour. It's, it's a slightly different flavour. Not really getting the ice effect going higher up. You did load down, but you didn't higher up. The mango's kind of replaced it. I say, when they're combined, it's actually quite an interesting, unusual 
slightly unique flavour. But that mango does die out and then you are still left with a cucumber again. Which if you're not a fan, you're really not going to enjoy. But if you are a fan, you're probably going to go, that's, that's nice, it's something a little bit different. It's not one for me personally. I think the cucumber is just a little bit too strong. Um, yeah, that is deaf to eight time. Simeon, deaf to eight time. It will probably get an audience out there, but for me personally, it's a nana. Give it a blowout. And we should move on to the last one, which is Skull Island Brunch. Now, th this one I am interested in. It's a banana bun. A warm banana bun. When places get banana right, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm interested to see how this one goes. There we are, 52.3 watts. There we go. Ooh. Cinnamon. Mm. Starts off with a really nice banana. It is a very natural, very nice, very cakey type of banana then you get the warming element there's a little ickle bit of cinnamon in this which does nicely warm the mouth and once that's died down you still kind of got that cinnamon effect in the mouth but the bun part of it comes out and flows over everything that's in the mush it gives it a warm bun effect with the cinnamon and then it also gives you a spicy banana at the beginning then what right about the mid ground mmm Jason Pratt, if you are watching this, uh, this is going to be one for you. I can. Mm. Well, I'm going to go up to four volts. That cinnamon bun effect at the end. What a Danish cinnamon bun at the end. With a little hint of banana floating around. Mm. Right, I'm going to go up to 62. Sorry, 61.2 watts. This is make me hungry. I can't be honest. Mm. I just want to chew it. The actual tastes in the mouth are tricking the brain to send information to my mouth. Do you really need to chew and swallow that? Because that's gorgeous. Oh. In, oh, I say in how, the beginning part is banana bread. Then, it has knocked the cinnamon down a little bit. Then you start getting a little bit of the warming effect from the cinnamon. Then you kind of got like cinnamon bread. It's kind of like, like a Danish cinnamon roll. It's kind of like a, like a cinnamon roll ending. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. I can tell you right away, this bottle is not going to last me very long. Um, that's yummy. That's really good. Now, I've got to say, guys, hats off for that one. Hats off for that one. That is yum. Oh. This, I'm telling you now, it will instantly go into my all-day rotation. <coughs> I've drawn, say I take five, if I took like five bottles out, that would be one of the ones I'd do for a day out. Oh, that's lush. That banana is so good. I'm going higher up. Now, I'm still getting the banana. And the bun. Oh. Right, anyway, we're going up to 67.5 watts or 4 volt, 4.2 volts. Alright, it gets more bunny higher up. But then you get that spiced banana, that banana and cinnamon come into it as well. Oh. That has beat a lot of juices on the market. 
straight off there. Uh, big kudos to Kevin and John for this one. As I say, they came up with the original recipes and the original flavour profiles for this. Um, everything, they then sent it to the uh, V30 Labs. And they handled all the mixing and the bottling. But the original recipes were from Kevin and John. As a range, it's good. I mean, the only one I didn't get on with was that one. And that was only because of the cucumber. I wasn't a fan of that one. There might be people out there that might like that. <clears throat> I think it's just a bit too much of a flavour contrast when you get that quite sweet, juicy mango and then it goes into that quite sourish cucumber effect. Wasn't a fan of that. That is yum, yum, bubble gum. I, uh, yeah, I adored that one as well. So, I mean, out of the four, these two are so going to not last me very long. It's untrue. <clears throat> and this one was good. This one was good as well. I'm not so much a fan of coconut, so it won't go into my all-day rotation. But if you are a fan of coconut milk, you will like that one. That is, it's spot on. It does exactly what it says on the tin. And that's all we can ever ask for when we want our e-liquids. So, on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, let's say a big thank you to Kevin and John for sending me them for review. And a big thank you for all you for watching yet again. Um, if you have enjoyed what you've watched today, please remember to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe to the channel. My ugly mug will be appearing here at some point. Just give it a slap and give us a sub. So on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, Head of the Department of Inhaled Vapors, I bid you all a very good day and I hope to see you soon. Take care, people.